All right. You know what time is for. It's time to limit tests and see if all we needed was our talent combo and our skills updated. Not gonna lie to you, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> Just to see how much progress. I mean, they're now green now, but uh, all of my skills should be up to date. I'm also getting the stuff ready for my gear. Plus, I have my bow now. And I'm getting very close to, uh... I should grab everything. Yeah. But I'm getting very close to level 70. Which I told you guys, I'm not crafting the level 70 bow. I'm going to take it out of my archive because... Just crafting something I already have in my archive then I'll just have to get rid of later down the road and it will have no other like usage to it wouldn't make any sense ah oh. okay I'm pushing the wrong button I put triple slash back on and now I have to relearn my keys Okay, god damn it. Line of sight is annoying. Even though line of sight shouldn't really exist at this point. With how bosses can just walk through walls, you know? Most of my skills have been upgraded to um, Sharpshooter. So they're going to do a lot more damage, a lot more effects. Uh, Tainted Shot is a lot better now. Oh, also, I can use uh, use some of the potions I got. Oh yeah, they gave out like some rewards that you can get from your mailbox. I'm not sure how long it is, but you can grab them as this video is up. And it gives you this, which you won't have to worry about at all. It's only for our alchemy, unless you're doing ori the original table like this for free to play people that's the only way it would count for you to use but if you if you are well and you're using magic clay you can use that because it'll auto you know craft stuff instead of you just sitting there doing it manually you can just select what items you want it to stop on and go afk Um, we are trying Strategic Sniper. Uh, it's the one that I told you guys about that I was going to try it out for a while, just to see how it does. So far, it does a lot of damage. I haven't seen too much of the stacking it says it does, though. That's the only issue. Okay, the, the annoying fog bug is gone. I can actually see again. But now, uh, we're going to have to change. Because, uh... Reflect, reflect boss is coming up. Now I don't want to deal with too much of that reflect damage. Uh, did I get a cape for me? Uh, no. No. No cape for me yet. Sedge. Maybe he's like that sometimes. So it's either going to be I just do raw damage and take him out. Actually, let's try raw damage first. If that doesn't work, then we'll go back. I want to get to level 72 because I get an upgraded version of Concealed Aura. That doesn't just last like five seconds. I think it's permanent until I actually attack something.
At least that's what I think it is. Let's see. Uh, concealed aura. Yeah. It doesn't say... It doesn't have, like, a... Timer or anything. But it does heal me over time as I'm concealed. Yeah, it would disappear while attacking. So that's actually my only recovery skill that I'm going to have. Funny enough. Why are you attacking the mushrooms? Stop it. Also, my tiger is... Uh, Hold on. Which combination was it? I grab this. I have this. Um, Phantom. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is reset my tiger. Because I, I told you guys that the tiger keeps whatever damage reduction you have. And keeps it permanently as long as it is is still summoned. So now that I have that, I can go back to this. And I believe we're good. I'm pretty sure he can just tank this by himself. I'm gonna try standing back so I don't accidentally hit it. But while he's fighting that, I'm going to get away get rid of the mobs around him. Okay, so he has 100% physical down. Does reflect. Stop. Wait, what? Oh, does bleed count as that too? Huh, I actually don't know. Okay, that's pretty much all I needed was uh, a talent upgrade and... Um, my weapon upgraded. Okay. So far, we don't have to do anything truly absurd. So far. <laughs> oh, we can get rid of this out of our inventory. But, uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, we have to take all of them up there. Oh, and our skills upgraded. I would say, you gotta remember that our skills evolve once we hit... Once we hit our class change for our level 65. So that's also a thing to keep in mind. That level 50, 65, like... Like, uh... Hold on. But yeah, that level 65 spike is is real. I gotta be careful with these ants because they do stun. I cannot fight them in an actual group. And as I say that, I tracked all of them. Does this stun last two seconds? Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's resummon you. 
I was kind of hoping they would have changed the leopard design, but sadly, they did not. My evasion is pretty high in here too, so it's going to be a lot of misses. It could be higher if I did have my level 70 bow though. Ah, goddamn. I forgot it's a range stun too. There's a lot of like gears that increase um, Mongoose reflexes, which is great. Which is also why I understand why it's so freaking low now. Which kind of annoyed me quite a bit. But it's mostly on the reincarnation side of uh, the talents. Yeah, there's the reincarnation side of the talents. This is where you can be able to use that. Well, the reason the level 70 bow is so good, I am going to have to uh, make the level 60 and 65 bow, though, later on down the road. Because that triple shot and force retreat is going to be absurd. Uh, where, wait, is there a level... Yeah, there's no level 55. I thought there was a... Oh, yeah, here it is. Level 65. Level 65 is pretty meh. It's something I'm just going to have to switch between just for that extra evasion. But the reason this is so good is because I'm pretty sure this is going to be your mandatory bow for, like, higher dungeons. That is going to be my mandatory bow for high dungeons. This is also, I'm pretty sure, enhanced, too. Not sure what it's at. But I am enjoying Archer a lot more after the sharpshooter and upgrading the abilities. After upgrading the abilities, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm also doing this video before work just because I don't think it would take that long now if I'm able to defeat the first bar boss, which is the actual hurdle. <laughs> now I think about it. Um, why didn't why didn't the first boss um have info on his skills? The reason I put Triple Slash back on is just because it's actually really good now. Especially if I'm just up close and I have nothing to spin skills on. Because I can't get away. Just a great thing to have up front. Alright, there we go. We lured some of them away. Oh no, wait a minute. I think this is the ant that has a uh, attack speed increase. This actually might be annoying. 
think at a certain gauge of his HP, he starts, like, rapidly attacking. Okay, I can see his skills. Hit twice, hit three times, okay. Berserk. Yeah! Oh no, he's the, he's the heavy hitting one. I actually have to stay away from him. And if he has this on too, I I automatically die. Brute force and this together will automatically kill me. No question. No doubt at all about that. So what I'm going to do... Oops. Do this. Resummon. Uh, send you in. So I can deal with other ant. this there we go yeah he chunked the pet pretty good well chunk bagel pretty good terrible Dude, why are all my Tape's green, man. Yeah, I can uh, start scavenging these. Since I'm around that level. Alright, now to the next boss. We don't need awakenings right now. Awakenings are only used for um, red weapons. And red pieces of gear. I wish I could use mechanic swords. kind of weird that we can't. Hi, right, attack me. Thank you. The only reason I think it's weird that we can't use mechanic swords is because Berserker can use our swords. Uh, I think Guardian can use our swords too. Oh, that's like a event. So it's kind of like, why can't we use uh, mech swords? I say Berserker, Paladin. Uh, damn it. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't do that. Oh, whoa, you just teleported. Hello? Never do that again. What a little chest I saw. Hmm. Looks like a tiny little chase. Anyway.
Oh yeah, you guys have freeze. Totally forgot about that. And you get this out of the um, reward too that they give you. A little free reward. No caves, man. Oh uh, well, I can use that since um, our gear is pretty much out of date and behind. Plus half of the well, actually. All we would need is the crit damage increase out of all this. Right, what is on this? Besides the defense. Oh, yeah. everything but uh, vitality. Oh, and it also decreases uh, crit damage taken. Uh, if anything, you guys would definitely want to increase... Uh, Crit damage taken because uh crit damage occurs a lot oh god map bug or graphic bug crit damage occurs a lot when it comes to uh higher mobs like they are very crit heavy and that's why another reason why you guys take so much damage Okay, so I'm going forward. Guess I can clear everything in this room. I'm still not looking forward to Sunken Fortress at all because that's the next dungeon we're about to do after this. I forgot scavenging costs a lot of gold. I just lost freaking six gold. I should stop that. I say, who do I think I am? Bill Gates with all that? I don't know. Um, okay, we have quite a bit of leeway here. Let's go ahead and resummon. I will say this. Um, I looked at a lot of my Necromancer's skills. Necromancer got some really, really good skills, but they did take away the pet heal and replaced it with they gain HP anytime you gain HP, I think. Lisa, I think that's what I saw. If I had mining, I could get this sword because this sword actually... As we with speed and the chance to stun. I'm not it doesn't say the stun can't be used on a boss. So I'm very curious about that. Either way it goes, that's amazing to have. Especially with attack speed bows that are about to start coming up soon. Um I would pick your swords wisely as Ranger because those swords oh, like skills also apply to your bow skills. Well, like this. If I hit him with just a normal like bow attack and I start getting that HP back. And it also decreased my cost. I can if I can dual wield, I can also add on another bow effect. Let's say um this is a two handed, right? Yeah, we don't worry about the two handed one. Uh let's say this one. I can also start reducing their mana as well. As long as this is, you know, continuously popping off. So along with attack speed, I have a bigger chance of just depleting the hell out of their mana. Do not use this late game. <laughs> Cause they have a way bigger mana pool than you can get through. It is it is completely 
utterly useless. Uh, let's see. What skills do you have? Before I send, send them in. Uh, you have cleanses. Necromancers would hate you then. Increase hatred. Nobody really cares about that? Really? Ah, you mana drain. That's not fun. Um, that's gonna be annoying. And you poison. Okay, so... Send you in. Killed it pretty fast. I can get rid of these because these aren't mine. Get rid of this. Uh, don't have mage stuff. What I can do, since I'm in current need of it. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it's 41 to 50 is where I get the stuff that I need. this uh no it's not it is stage gloves all right so now i can head to the final boss another thing i like about this dungeon is that there is a shop in here so i can just sell all the junk i don't need which i wish a lot more of their dungeons had. Just a random shopkeep in there. <laughs> but we're done with those quests. They may be green. I think, um... Yeah, this is green too. I could have, I could sell those capes. I could. I think I'm good on gold for now, at least until I need to upgrade again. Because right now I still don't have my uh, mining sprite just yet. That's something I'm still farming for. Uh, I don't need crit damage. But then again, it helps. That's yeah, good. Okay, the servers are lagging. Hold on. Give it a second. It's trying. There you go. I don't know, man. The servers have been dying really hard as of late. I don't know. I mean, none of these are really all that useful because, like I said, it still doesn't tell us, like, what enemy... Take this. What enemy has what? Oh, wait, does this give me a skill point? I think that does give me a skill point. What did you have again? I think it was dangerous towards me, isn't it? If I remember correctly. You have a... a yeah, you have a fear. That's what it was. You have a fear and you... <gasps> Excuse me. And you... 100% reduction to da magic damage. 
This is pretty much a fuck of magic damage dungeon. Oh yeah. Oh no, okay, no. This is something else. But movement speed by 100% is absurd. That's also absurd too. That's going to be my main my main uh issue. Is madness clan. Oh fuck. Um okay, so I'm going to have to use my release skill for this uh every class has this skill that increases all their damage by 20 percent casting and weapon speed by 50 percent for 15 seconds every class has it at level 65. uh do i need to change my ultimate skill uh this is how you find your ultimate class skill is inside of your saves i don't know why it's in here but you know hey if you want to change it to something else, you can. Uh, the only reason I changed it from this is because it has a 20 second cooldown. This one increases evasion and absorbs mana. So I'm changing back to this. Um, this increases the cool, well, decreases the cooldown for quick reflex, but it is now Mongo reflex. So that decrease it to 40 seconds this one also increase my range damage to sudden counter i can only find those inside of infernal dungeons infernal dungeons are very 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 one-sided <laughs> towards any class that can actually like oh you're stuck okay i was about to say wait a minute but yeah the um, it's very one-sided Because it it debuffs you like really hard. It takes away a lot of your stats. So it's honestly not fun to deal with. <laughs> because only certain classes can do Infernal Dungeon very easily. And it's mostly like life steal and survivability with high damage. Uh Druid cannot, because Druid will still one shot itself even with the life steal. It would need a lot of HP to just ignore reflection. Or a lot of uh, all damage reduction. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start this out. So we're going to send you in. Uh, why? Uh, pulls everyone in. Okay, thank God. That wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, then you have this little quest too. To where you can get the little prize out of it. Uh, if I remember correctly, that doesn't give XP. And now we can get our title out of this. And our gold. They gave me blue. Okay, they gave me blue pants. Oh, it's not that bad either. It's really not. Also gave me a lot of gold. Now I have to go to the Grassland Altar, which is all the way in Kazlau's area. <laughs> Great. And now we have to turn on... Um, Ah, sunken fortress. Gotta, gotta love me some sunken fortress. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, love me some sunken fortress. Doesn't everybody? Everybody loves sunken fortress. Hell yeah. Anywho, that's already Sergal. Let's see. 
That sword is also terrible. Now if I can craft this one, this will help a lot. Because triple shot. Huh. What is everything I need for that? Some wood. Actually, that wouldn't be half bad to actually build. Sword of Thrones. Never mind. I, I still need my stone. I still need stone. Well, mining. If I don't have mining, then it's basically useless. Uh, so I can at least get the material for it, though. I can also build relics for people, too, as well. Uh, we cannot use relics, unfortunately, since we have dual building. Which is fine, because most relics aren't really all that good, in my opinion. Unless I were pretty meh. I mean, we have bow that goes into the... Um, that slot. I don't know why I did that. I think I was trying to see some. But uh do I ha I don't have a slot on this uh bow unfortunately. That's the speeds you can get <laughs> with uh Archer class. Well, not Archer class. Uh, well, technically, yeah. Well, Hunter class. Because both sides get like, get like really, really good um, movement speed. You're definitely the fastest class in the game, to be honest. Uh, we we're supposed to look at this. Okay, so crit damage while, but decreasing my uh, evasion. If I get a few more skills, that would be actually really good to have. I could put this back on. So now I get the XP for that, and... We now have a skill point. Need two skill points to put into anything. Oh yeah, you also have movement speed inside of your masteries now. Well, at least I think now. I don't know if that's already been there, but... Because I've never really played Archer like that. Uh, the main thing that I would say, once what you want to do at max level... Increase this tree before you reincarnate. If you're going to reincarnate at 100, always in do your mastery tree so you can have an easier time like leveling again so you don't suffer as much. And the only way to bring that up is through those skill stones which are inside of alchemy that show up, specialized insight, or through just turning on this to full 100 once you're level 100 and going into a high level dungeon that still gives you like xp i would recommend the second one <laughs> obviously Now I'm just wearing useless gloves and uh, boots right now. I do have this one saved up for when I reincarnate. Um, I don't think your talents... Yeah, if I remember correctly, your talents do not carry over when you reincarnate. So it, it would be a good idea to carry all of those over. Like make some extra ones when you, before you reincarnate. Always a general good idea. But now that I 
have a little bit more leeway with my uh, time. Since I don't have to worry about that level. Well, passing my level anymore. We are almost... Well, not even close to almost, actually. All I need is... Well, actually, I can't even say that's all I need. I need a lot more. So I'll probably end up going back to the mountain area anyway. I'm going to need a lot of this in order to get my stuff, like, way quicker. Way, way quicker. So, yeah. Oh, hold up. Where's that? Oh, you. You're going to give me potions, right? Oh, no, just go. That's fine, too. I wish they would, I wish they would, uh, hold on. I was about to say, do I have a random book in my inventory? I wish they would increase this. Or adjust the rewards from it. Increase it to 100 and adjust the rewards from it. That would be fantastic at this point. Like, give better rewards from this. That helps players through the game. That'd be great. And also the beginner like Kozlo book should have like immediate book and an advanced book as well. To help teach the player for like higher stuff, you know? Challenge them to do stuff that they aren't comfortable with or haven't even seen. I would say it would it would make sense to do that, but I don't think they ever will update that. But you know, they could surprise us. They definitely could surprise us. Which is why I'm hoping that's one thing that comes into mind for them. Uh, let's grab this quest. So that dungeon took like at least 30 minutes for my level and getting everything up. Well, not everything updated, but most things updated. Uh, I guess the next dungeon is a uh, second fortress. Um, Sunken Fortress is actually, like I, I think I've said it before, one of the dungeons that really challenges you because they have some very heavy hitting abilities and all types of random things you have to go up against. I would say this is definitely where your little beginner journey ends. <laughs> it starts getting more into the advanced. Like once you hit level. 65 it's basically like put your paws up because it's it's not gonna be fun <laughs> i don't believe this dungeon believes in holding back that that's all i can say i don't know what this is from oh chaos realm i think i actually do know what this is from it's for something that I barely do. We'll have to discover that uh, in another video. But I just want to get here and save my soul for the next video that we do. I don't think we're going to do it now because that because this dungeon is actually pretty decently long. I'll probably do it as soon as I get off of work. But as of right now, Sunken Fortress. Level 73. So now I don't have to worry about just stopping at level 70. But I will have to get my gear up to date for Phoenix Tower. Because Phoenix Tower is a whole different breed of stupidity. <laughs> the ending boss isn't, because I think it only reflects magic damage, if I remember correctly. But this boss... Well, this ending dungeon's boss is actually really annoying because it has a very dangerous multi-hit. And not only that, it has um, reflection damage. There is two reflection damage bosses that I'm not looking forward to inside of this dungeon. That's all I can say. Not looking forward to. <laughs> Just so that's no. Oh, I can get rid of these. It's actually funny because you can sell these keys as well. But nobody actually like sells them. 
because most players well most new players wouldn't even know what they what they're used for even by like reading them they're just like what is this but it is keys to dungeons that you can sell at a low price just as you know skip the farming or if they have like a a door to the to the auction they could just buy that key if they can't find it or you know ran out of retries so they don't have to restart the dungeon that is a thing as well but unfortunately we don't sell those because auction house items don't stay longer than two days at, at max so yeah <laughs> two days at max and you know nobody feels like re-putting those items in every single two days just throwing them back in there and throwing them back in there hoping somebody purchases them but you know you know <sighs> yeah i'm ending off there hope you guys enjoyed it. i'll see you guys in the next one until then peace out Stay